So why should we care? I mean, we should care because it's kind of the humane right thing to do. Um, I'm going to read this quote aloud because I really enjoy this quote. This is a few years old, and it was when kind of the idea that page speed matters really started to um, appear in, in mainstream media. And so there was an article, a great article that was written in the New York Times, um, and it featured, it was, I think it was sort of highlighting some Google research that, it ha that, it, that had been performed um, about how even like 100 milliseconds of page delay mattered. And it's a really great article. I recommend you look it up. The titles at the bottom of the slide. But there's a reader comment where somebody said, and I just picture this as like kind of this cranky old like SNL type character. Kind of just go, oh, pity the hyper impatient web generation. Such busy lives with so many important things to do, like post the latest drivel onto their Facebook pages or download the YouTube viral video of the day. Oops, sorry, of the minute. Um, so I think about that person, and I think they're not alone. Like, I, I, I've since sort of heard people say things like, well, we should just learn to be patient. You know, why, why does it matter so much if pages are slow? It's a you problem. It's just, you know, it's kind of all in your head. Just adapt. I get, you know, suck it up. Don't be a baby. Um, but there's a reason why we care. The average web user believes, I'm not saying that they, this is actually the case, but they believe that they waste two days a year waiting for web pages to load. Like, total, two days, 48 hours of, of their time, precious life moments spent waiting for pages to load. Do I think that's actually true? Probably not. But the fact is, people feel this way. They feel um, the lag of the internet as a presence in their lives that actually prevents them from doing other things they would like to do. And to me, this is really, really important. Another thing that people feel is web stress. This is a term that was coined um, a few years ago with a paper that was released by CA Technologies, um, some research they commissioned from a company called Foveans. And they, they hooked EEG wet, uh, headsets onto, onto people and had them kind of go through the paces of doing different transactions on a desktop. And they found, uh, they met, were able to measure at a neurological level that when sites or apps are slow, it, I, we actually have to work 50% harder to stay on task. Um, a few years later, um, when I was working for a company called Radware, we replicated that research but using mobile devices. And this is an actual photo from the study that we did. Basically found the same thing, even on mobile. And uh, what was really important to, to notice in this particular study is the, the latency that we introduced was not massive amounts of latency. It was the equivalent of taking pages that loaded in roughly three or four seconds and making them load in five or six seconds. And we found the same issues with uh, people having a harder time staying engaged, frustration levels spiking, engagement levels dropping, and we could measure all of this. This is, uh, a, I love this phrase, rage clicks. Um, a hat tip to Philip Tellis and Nick Jansma of Sosta for, um, for kind of bringing this to my attention in a talk that they did at Velocity last year, where basically it's, it's a real thing. You can measure this. Like your, your users are just pummeling their mouse buttons or they're, they're hitting the screen on their phones out of frustration at the fact that this, the site isn't re or the app aren't, isn't responding. Um, and it was funny, a few years ago, I went looking for a study. I wanted to see um, if somebody had ever re done any research on how people react when, um, when sites or apps are slow on their phone. And of course, somebody had done a study. It was Tea Leaf uh, back in 2011. And um, I don't know how well you can see this at the back, but what was really interesting was that kind of about 60% of people more or less behave normally, um, but all those other, the, the yellow, the green, the red, are all people having terrible reactions to the phones being slow. And the red is 4% of people claim that they've thrown their phone when the site was, was, a site was slow. Um, I've never done that, but I'm definitely in the green and yellow camp, so I'm definitely not super proud of it, but I'm human. <laughs>